Hi, Rick. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? Pretty good. I uh, wanted to reach out to you um, and just kind of chat a little bit. Our latest blog that was released was all about uncertainty. Obviously, mm -hmm. we're in a world that's feeling very uncertain right now. And yep. so we just wanted to chat with you and kind of give the world a little bit of insight on what Madison Chase team does to cope with uncertainty. So, um, so first of all, I, I saw your blog. I thought you did a great job. Uh, I really like the question that you posed right at the beginning, whether or not uncertainty was something that was a bad thing. I think that's a great question. And um, for me, I, I, I don't think it is. I think that uncertainty is really what drives us to be better, drives us to explore and to do things that we wouldn't normally do. And, and um, you know, for me, whenever uncertainty happens, um, being the faith-based person that I am, uh, you know, one of the things I do is I, I turn to God and I say, hey, you know, what's going on? What are, what's happening in this moment? What is it that you need me to pay attention to? And, and so that's a good thing for me. Um, it allows me to take some time and, and give the uncertainty some space so that I can kind of explore what's going on. Um, and it also gives me an opportunity to turn to those in my life that, uh, that are mentors and that are people that have spoken into my life and seek counsel and, and to do those things just to help me grow and develop and, and get me through that, that uncertainty or whatever it might be. Wonderful. Thanks so much for sharing with us. Yeah, absolutely. I think now, nowadays it's important to focus on what are some of the positives that you've been seeing since this whole statewide shelter in place movement went into effect. You mean other than I don't have to shave every day? Um, <laughs> I think that there's uh, there's a couple things that I that I think I really notice, <clears throat> and one is, and and probably the big thing, and that we've all noticed is, is in times like this, you know, people step up, and so especially if you're looking at the healthcare professionals, uh, first responders, uh, those are typically people that that step up anyway. But especially in this situation. Um, we really have to acknowledge and admire those people um, that, you know, go to work every single day, knowing that they're going to be facing something that uh, that can be deadly for them and their families. So so that's one thing is is to notice um, uh, those peoples and those things and those situations in life that that really step up and make a difference. And and then the other thing um, for me, which I think is a positive, is. Uh, life's busy. It's really busy. And there's, it just seems like from day to day, we go, go about doing our business and living our lives. And, and there's really time it's, that just seems like it just all becomes one big thing. And so this has allowed me to kind of step back and not to be as busy and uh, to spend some time with those that I love and that I care for and, and to check in with them more. And, and that, that is family and friends for sure. Um, but it's also people that we work with, our clients and and our vendors, and just say, hey, how's it going? Need anything? It, it gives us the time to do that, which which I think ultimately is a positive thing. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I totally agree with you. Um, all right, last question. What would you say to any buyers or sellers that were in the market just before all of this uncertainty um, hit? Um so the biggest thing I think that that I'm telling them at this point is is I'm I'm trying to help them keep focused on, you know, why they're in the market to begin with, and and that answer is different for everybody, uh, and so uh, it's a matter of, of necessarily not me telling them what's going on or 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 what to do, um, because honestly, the answer in this is that um, that I don't know all of the answers. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty, like kind of what we're talking about. Um, but the other thing is there are buyers and there are sellers that need, regardless of what's happening in the world, they need to sell or they need to buy at this time. Um, and so just to kind of help them remember, uh, you know, here, here's where we're at, here's where we're headed. And um, this is why we're headed there. Uh, so for those people to give them to help give them the courage, I guess, to continue to move forward. Um, and then for those that were in the market and necessarily didn't need to be in the market, um, maybe this is a time for them just to kind of wait and relax and be okay with that. Um, 
and um, and so listen to them and and just try to give them guidance uh, based on their needs and what's happening in their families. Um, and, and again, just to be there for. Yeah, fantastic. And I think that's so important. You mentioned when you were talking about how you cope with uncertainty is you reach out and you seek counsel and you connect with the ones that you love and trust. And to be able to be that for all of our clients right now is, mm -hmm. is so important because you're yep. right. One side does not fit all. And everybody's got a little bit of a different circumstance going on. And some people are more impacted or less impacted, or like you said, some of the, their transactions are a need, not a want. So um, being right. able to support all of that from every direction. Um, awesome. Well, thank you for sharing a piece of your morning with us, Rick. We really appreciate it. Uh, for those of you viewing, we will have a link to this blog we've been chatting about underneath here. So you can go in and read all about what certainly uncertain means. So um, <laughs> thanks again for chatting with us and we'll talk with you soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.